Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I have been doing some organizing this past weekend and I wanted just to pop in here and just share some of my organizational products that I got from the Stamps of Life. These are totally Tiffany bags that they do sell on their website and I just want to go through a few of them with you in case you happen to be organizing or looking for some organizational ideas for your products. I have some ink pads and ink refills and some markers and some washi and twine and ribbon and all kinds of products that need some organizational space. So I'm going to start over here and just move a few of these aside. And I want to start with this bag. This is the Shelly bag. And again, these are totally Tiffany products. And all of these bags, they do have Velcro. As you see here, they are clear so you can see through them. You can store these in your drawers or on your shelves and you can quickly grab what you need because you can see through them. So in this Shelly bag, I have a lot of my twine. And you can see that I just popped it all in there. And I actually store this bag in the drawer right here on my desk, um, right to the right side of me. I just open it up when I need some twine and I can look and see what I have in here and just pop these out and then put them back in and then reseal it, reseal it. Actually, when I store these in my drawer, I actually leave this open and I store this bag just like this so I can quickly take out and quickly put back in when I'm finished. But if you wanted to seal it, you can do so. And I have stuffed this so full that I actually have to we'll pull this tight to get that good seal. But there is my twine. And again, this is the Shelly bag. And I also am using the same bag, this is also the Shelly bag, with my ribbons. Now when you put your ribbons in here, they because they're a little bit taller, you will see that you'll have to really pull hard just to get a good seal and it's not going to cover this velcro completely but that's okay because this does the job and you can store all your ribbons in one place and again this is stored in the same drawer as my twine okay and i also have this bag which is the teresa bag and this will hold some washi tape so when i peel that up I have all of my washies in here and all of these bags come with, you'll see, I'm going to take this out. They come with this little clear um, compartment that you just quickly put together. And I'm going to put one of these together with you in just a few minutes, but it comes with this, which kind of keeps everything, keeps the bag. I should say it keeps the bags shape. So this can pop in and out. I have no reason to take this out. But if you wanted to pop it out and set it on your desk, you could, but I have no reason to do so. So I just leave everything within this bag. Now, if you didn't want to use this um, piece, you could always just store your stuff right in the bag itself. But I find that this, it just helps the bag hold its shape a little bit better. So again, I do store my washies in this. Again, this is the Teresa bag. You can also, and I'm just going to take some of these out, you can also store some of your reinkers in here. So I'm going to take these out just to show you. So if you wanted to put your reinkers in here, you can put these in as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have ten reinkers in here, and you can see how it holds those reinkers. And let me just see. I'm gonna just dump these out. I have a bunch of these Nuvo drops. I just want to see if it will hold these as well, because it's the same. Um, these might be a little bit taller, so this might not close. No, nope, those aren't gonna close. But if you wanted to, well. You wouldn't get many in here if you tried to put those sideways. So I would probably say no to the Nouveau drops. But if you have any of these stickles, these will fit because these are a little bit smaller. So we'll just, let's see how many of these we can fit in here. I have a whole bunch of these. I don't even use these anymore. They just sit in my 
closet. <laughs> so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten again, okay? And those fit perfectly. Look at that. You get a perfect seal with those. So if you wanted to use this for stickles, you can totally do that. I also have the Terry bag, and I use this Terry bag with some of my markers that I want to use when I'm traveling. So if I'm traveling and I want to put together just a few markers, super quick, just you know, for the road, just so I can stick in my bag, I will use this bag to hold those markers. And it, again, it does have the Velcro, and this actually holds some of your taller markers too. So this marker is actually about seven and a quarter inches tall. And I have several of those. These are the Stamps of Life markers, but it, there's also some of these Tombow markers, which are roughly the same size. And it will hold all of those very nicely. Now, if you had the Copic markers, you can store them in there too. They're much smaller, so you can see the difference here in the size they definitely will fit. So if the longer ones fit, then those shorter Copic markers are gonna fit as well. And once it's all sealed, you can just carry it just like this, or you can stick it in a bag, and you can use it to go. Also, what I think would be good in here, and I don't have any of them, but the long brush, when you're doing your ink blending, those brushes, those should probably fit in here as well. Because this bag, when it is closed, and I'm just gonna put the Velcro on it just like it would be. It's approximately, it's a little bit more than eight inches, so maybe, it's a little bit more than eight and a little bit less than eight and a quarter, but that could change depending on, I guess it's all crinkle here up at the top. So I would say roughly about eight inches tall, so anything that is less than eight inches is gonna fit in this bag. I also have this bag, which is the Totally Tiffany stamp store and go with tray, which is a bag that measures about eight and a half by 11. So it has this tray that you can pull out and it is the same size as a piece of printer paper. And I store all my mini ink pads on here. So you can pull this tray out and easily access what you need. I also store my little blending tool in here. So everything is in one place and that closes and it also has a handle. I also have the Katya bag, which I actually just purchased this. I just got it in a couple of days ago because I wanted to put all of my brand new Stamps of Life ink pads in here. And you can see that this bag, I've got five in each section. So when you open, when you open this bag, there are these dividers, there's four of these dividers. And in each divider, you can fit five of your ink pads. So this bag will hold 20 of these standard ink pads from, these are stamps of life. So just to give you an idea of how tall these are, these are a little less than four. No, they're about, no, they are four. They're four inches by about two and three quarters. So any type of ink pad that you have that's roughly around that size should be able to fit within these boxes very nicely. And I'm gonna show you how to put one of these together because it's super, super easy. So, and I noticed that I used my label maker and I labeled them all. That way I and I have them all in alphabetical order. So everything here is listed in alpha order so I can quickly go and find that color that I'm looking for rather than having to try and flip through all of them to look at the colors on the front. And I have more ink pads than this that I need to get organized. So I'm gonna show you how to put one of these together and I'll organize the rest with you. And I also have the Irene bag and I have all my refills in here. And this is, this Irene bag, it holds 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 of the ink pads. And I am gonna put another one of these together because I have some more ink, inks that I wanna go in here. Now, if you 
only had a few, let's say you only had a few, I'm gonna, well, you know what, I'm not gonna dump those out. I'll show you in my next one because I have already alphabetized all of these and I don't wanna have to redo that. But I was gonna show you once I put another one of these together, which I'm gonna do in just a minute, you can actually fit these um, ink pads in here as well. So if you don't have that many ink pads and you just wanted to get a smaller one, you can use the Irene bag to do that. So I wanna show you how easy it is to put these together because I have two other bags. I have another Katya bag and I also have another of the Irene of this one and um, that I still need to organize my inks. So when they come, they come like this. I did get these from the Stamps of Life website and I'll link those below. So when they come, they come like this and they are in plastic and I do wanna point out that it does have on the inside all of the Tiffany bags. And I don't know if these are all of the ones that they carry, but they have several of them that are listed here. And they give you ideas for what you can store in each one. So you can see there's the Terry bag, long pens and markers. Well, you can also put paint brushes. That's a good idea as well. And then what is the other one? Here's the Irene. That's the one I'm gonna put together too. That ha you can do ink pads, glue dots, glue dots, pop dots, embossing folders, that Teresa bag, glitter glue, reinkers, small ink pads, the Shelly, you can do washi tape, your teardrop inks, curling ribbon. So that's another one. I have some of those teardrop inks, which I'm gonna just show you real quick. So all of these little teardrop inks, these fit nicely in here too. So just put them inside of each other and notice that you can put a whole bunch in here and seal that up so that fits nicely as well. And that was the Teresa bag. All right, so I went ahead and opened up the Katia bag and inside it comes with one, two, three, four. So there's four of these dividers. So remember I said that you had one, two, three, four dividers that you need to put together. And I'm going to just show you how to do one. First of all, all of these dividers, they have a film on them. It's kind of just a plastic film. So you'll want to take that off and just dispose of that. And then you'll also see that you have these little notches that have plastic that needs to come out. So you'll need to go in and take all of that little plastic out because those are the slots that you're gonna use to put these dividers together. Okay, and then you'll also notice that these have fold lines or score lines in the plastic. So you're just gonna fold these plastic, this plastic along the score lines. Okay, and once it's all folded along, oh, I've got a die cut there. Okay, once it's all folded along the score lines, Okay, so again, this is the Katia bag that I'm putting together. So I'm just gonna put it flat like this as best as I can. And this score line is gonna come up. So you're actually wanting to line these holes up on both sides because you're wanting to make a box just like this. So the holes will be lined up, the top and bottom hole. And then you're going to take this piece here that has these flaps, and you are going to stick those flaps in the top and bottom holes. So there's one side that's connected, and do the same with the other side. And there's my box. And you'll have to do that with each one of these. All right, so here are my four dividers, and then I just need to put them in my bag. So. Open the bag up. Now, if you didn't want to use the dividers, you don't have to. You can totally use them without the dividers. And if I were to use them without the dividers and use them with the ink pads, you can do that too. 
okay? It's really, you know, fine if you didn't want to do that. But I'm gonna put my dividers in. So I'm gonna put all four. Now, if you wanted to, And I have already alphabetized these. So you can see how they just, those ink pads just slide in. Now when you're, I just wanna point out when you're adding a fifth one, sometimes it is easier just to take them all out and line them up. And they pop in perfectly. And that's all my ink pads that I have. So I could, if I had extra ink pads, I can put them in there or save some room there. And then that just folds. Actually, these come out because there is a Velcro all along the side. So you can see the side is Velcro, so nothing will fall out of here. And there's also a handle on it, so you can carry it too. So these bags are holding my ink pads. And again, this is the Katya Buddy Bag, K-A-T-Y-A. And that you can go on the Stamps of Life website and get that. Now, I have also the Irene bag. So here's the Irene bag, and this is what it looks like and you put it together the same exact way. So I wanna show you this other product that I have. This is the Totally Tiffany Card Makers Fab File, and it is this little box. There's a handle on the side, and this box you can actually store your dies in, and as well as your stamps. And this box measures, it's five by seven, it says it's six and a half inches tall, so six and a half inches this way by eight long, and then the depth of it is three and a quarter inches. So basically what this is, notice that there's a little label here on the top. So if these are, you know, stamps, you can put stamps, whatever category is your, your, um, storing in here if you're storing embossing folders you can just label the box okay but now what this comes with it doesn't come with what you see here what this comes with are these storage files and they have this magnetic sheet and they are little envelopes that you can stick the magnetic sheet in and it comes with five of these pockets and it also comes with labels so you can label your envelope but what I like to use this for is I have these Stamps of Life envelopes and I am just, I just store them in here. So this file is actually my file for all of my, so these are like, what are these called? They're the, the dies, like I have my squares, I have my circles, my ovals. Okay, so some of my, you know, car, dies that I can use as backgrounds. Here's my dotted rectangles. I actually have this one in the envelope. But I, you can store both the envelopes as well as you know the tabs that it comes with. But I do wanna show you, because I, I do have one of my, my, st my dotted stars are stored in here. So I actually have, there's some extra pieces but I actually have the stars on my magnetic sheet. So you can see that the white part is actually a magnet, so it will hold your dies. But on the back side, you can always store your stamps, but I just put extra pieces in here that I've die cut out just to hold in there. But if this were stamps, you can do your dies on the front, and then on the back, you can put your stamps in the back side, and then you can you know, stick them in your folder here and just label all of those. So. Here's an example of my st stamps and dies that are stored in this pocket. So you can see that the white side is actually the magnetic sheet and it will hold on to the dies. And on the back side is where you can actually store your stamps. And then all of that will fit nicely into the storage envelope. And if you have any extra die cuts, you can then just store them right in the pocket as well. In this box, I have all of my folded dies. So those are all my shaped dies. So here's my basket folded. I have party hat. 
the flower pot, the tree folded, there's my Easter. So all of my folded are in here. So I know when I want to fold it, I can just come to this box and I can grab it out of here. This is your fab file combo. So very convenient. You can find all of these products on the Stamps of Life website, which I'll link below in the description box. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.